What's up, everybody? Two boys, one brain cell. I'm Joel. I'm Chuck. And today we're checking out Chuck's favorite band, other than Rancid, The Misfits. <laughs> <laughs> I see what you did there, bud. Where Eagles Dare and Ska Punker Dared. This is his pick of the one of his picks of the month. All right. And I am proud of you for it's it's been a minute. We had it that has, one bunch has. of rancid songs yep. that tortured you. Nobody really else has come forth to torture you, and it's really bothered me. I have enjoyed my break and I'm ready for it to be over. Okay. Now I have seen the Misfits live, the original Misfits, um, one of their reunion shows at Riot Fest you skipped out on. So there's a possibility I've heard this, but it is not in my playlist. Um, so we'll see what happens, and uh, I'll let you know at the end of the song if I've heard it or not. But I, I am, I've heard quite a few Misfits songs. Yeah, so. I have not heard this. So, I promise. I mean, you've heard Amoeba, so... This is true. You dude. never know, dude. This is you true. You never know. <laughs> you've you've heard some wild ones. Let's send it, dude. All right. That's right, Chuck. I'm no goddamn son of a bitch. He said something about putting something in your retina. All right. So, mm -hmm. I have one issue with this song and one issue alone. That he's not a goddamn son of a bitch? No, I got no issue with that. I don't say that. has a nice flow. It really did. That's my a favorite. nice ring to it. Everything. It's my favorite part of the song. I agree. I'm going to be saying that for a week or two after this. You start talking to him like, Chuck, I ain't no goddamn son of a bitch. I am Better so think fine. about it, baby. Um, <laughs> yes, <I am. laughs> There's got to be one in every crowd. Yep. Um, now my issue is, mm -hmm. when did this come out? Eighties, probably. That'll make it make sense. Yeah. Because the the sound quality, <laughs> yeah, was not there. If this the was, chugging, uh -huh. I was like, yeah. If this yeah. was Chris crispier. I think this would be a very solid song. Okay. Because I enjoy the... too raw for you. Yeah. I enjoy the style. I enjoy the flow. Lyrically, there's not much going on. What? <laughs> Other than, you know... You goddamn son of a bitch. <laughs> They're talking about monster stuff in the in the verses. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. She nothing, was, nothing's she was gonna... seducing his glands, bro. Yeah, come on, bud. <laughs> You're not getting me with those lyrics. Like, that's not my style. But the sound was nice outside of 
just the older so you're raw we, we, i'm sorry we gotta come back to this a little bit so you're saying seducing glands is not your style of lyrics and if that's the case why is there so much nelly in your playlist <laughs> Just a little confused here, dude. Okay, I see what you did there. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Just worded differently. You know, I'm full of shit. So here we are. <laughs> I am. Hashtag indeed. called out. <laughs> I am indeed a goddamn son of a bitch. Uh huh. Indeed. I'm just here to prove it. Now, I do agree with that chugging guitar. That was a little rough to hear. Mm-hmm. But the flow of that goddamn son of a bitch is going to keep me coming back. And it's only a two yeah. minute song. So. Yeah. But yeah, let's see what let's see what you got, bud. What you got? Rating wise, of course. Oh, it's gonna it hurts me so hard. No, it doesn't. Wait, it's positive. That means, guys, it's a positive rating. It's gonna be a six point four, and I'm gonna put it in a playlist. God damn! I really enjoyed the just the flow of the song, <laughs> <laughs> and and just it's super catchy. It almost has a classic rock vibe to it. Yeah. Just you know, more a little more obviously simplistic in the instrumental area yeah. comparatively to classic rock. You don't have any crazy guitar solos or anything like that. So if you, it's like if you cut all that out and then just said, hey, we're going to add some nice flows, lyric, yeah. like with our with the vocals and some raw sounding instrumentals. Yeah. Now, if they remastered this with the technology and everything that we have nowadays, you don't want as far as that, Mm-mm. and it's cleaner, do uh, it. I think I would like it I don't, I don't, a lot more. I don't, I don't want to do that. You want the raw? I understand. Just because it's a piece of time. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's a it's like taking the Mona Lisa and adding AI do yeah, stuff to it. Do you that. know what I'm saying? You can't do that. I'm guess. not saying this is the Mona Lisa of songs by any means, but it it I, I personally don't like it. Okay. I understand like taking a song and like slightly tweaking things, like maybe 10, 15 years later, just to make it sound a little better in certain spots, but that would be like such a major lift to the song to make it to polish it. It would. Would I like to hear it? Sure, but I'd probably go back to listening to the original just out of the. It's something I want if I'm going to listen to music from that era. That's fair. That's all. My rating is going to be funny enough lower than yours. So Chuck's favorite band is the Misfits. Six haven't out I of already, ten. Haven't I already heard this about? You know, rancid. <laughs> and it's true. True than ever. Flat six playlist. I enjoyed it. I think it's going to go up in my playlist because I ain't no goddamn son of a bitch. Until next time, y'all. Peace. I'm going to be listening to this for months. <laughs>